welcome to the latest episode of The Altar, where, back again, Yimra, we got Ben, we got uh, a sickness inside of me that I'm getting over. Might sound a little uh, rough still. Dude, I mean, for the I mean, it's been, well, it's been a week, and my fucking throat has just been just wrecked. My nasal passages, throat's been messed up, and then this weekend I wanted to take a break for, like, just chill, not do anything around the house, and my wife just was like, well, we need to pressure wash the house and stuff. Well, my parents kind of accelerated that because they wanted their pressure washer oh, okay. back that I've, ha I've had for, like, six months. I'm like, yeah, I'll get around to it. You don't need to keep hassling me every couple months about it. Come on. So, uh, I was oh, outside oh, working. <laughs> yeah, right. Just outside working, I got a nice tan that, uh, it doesn't, it's not really coming through, but I'm, I'm getting back to my Puerto Rican look. Yeah, instead of absolutely. white, you look gray. Yeah, thank you. So there's there's a slight shift in color, just dude. Not it was brown. it was funny because like, I, well, first of all, pressure washing the house like they never pressure like I pressure wash like my porch and stuff. That's gonna be the episode where we talk about housework. What, what's politics, right? Who gives a shit? Yeah. Um, so I pressure washed <laughs> like the concrete steps, the walk, and all that, and like my carport pad and stuff. Like I've been pressure washed the entire house, all that it looks beautiful. So now as because I'm a dick, every time I drive past someone's house, I'm like, wow, they should really pressure wash that, you know. Really pressure wash that on it. And then uh what was the other thing? It was like because of my tan too. I kinda look at my wife, I'm like, yeah, look how tan I got. She's like, stop looking at yourself. I'm like, I can't help it. I'm like, this is what you like anyway. She's like, Yeah, I know. Because she thought it was Puerto Rican when we first met. So that was another thing. Start speaking. Hey, te gusta mi verga puta. <laughs> <laughs> that means do you like my dick in Spanish, if no one knows. Um so yeah, that was my week. I got a nice tan. Uh I've lost a couple of pounds in the past week. It's crazy what happens when you eat until you feel just good and not full and stuffed, and uh, when you stop drinking every day. It's crazy Work. how it works. Sounds awful. <laughs> As st it's when you don't drink every day. Yeah, bro, you still got a good metabolism. I'm getting old. I'm like, as I stop drinking every day, as I'm sipping a beer right now. Hey, guys, what's up? Yeah, when you don't drink every day. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I took a break from drinking just so I could do it right now. That's what that's what it's at. Who cares if it's, uh, you know... that. Ladies and gentlemen, is called responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, responsibility. Speaking of one moment, he's texting me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I said responsibility, and you were left. Fuck. All right. Oh, time, time to go. Um, oh, that's there. You go. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Right. Yeah. Work is that Captain text? Morgan? Damn, dude. Well, that's, that's, that's cracking. cracking. He's it's cracking, just baby. fucking going in. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be a great episode. Oh, oh shit. So I kind of want to, I, I got like a so couple of topics. After that. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're doing those, how, how big is that bottle? That's a handle, right? Or that's 750? Size of my fucking head. Oh, uh, it's a handle. handle. 1.75 liter. Yeah, so you're just doing those curls. Doing good. And then Ben's got his coffee. Like, look at this fucking adult. He's got to go to work a little bit. Oh, my fucking what God, dude. Bitch. We got to do evening episodes so I can start getting fucked up with you guys again. Well, because, like, I, I can't... probably... <laughs> I probably can uh, eventually because like my summer plan is to get the basement in working like working order with like rooms and stuff or at least drywall down the basement. But I gotta get the HVAC moved down there. But once I get that going, I'll have my little office down there. I'll soundproof it, and then if the kids are crying, I don't care. That's my wife's job because I'm a man, right? right? I'm gonna see who gets actually pissed at that. Like, man, I can't believe you talk about your wife like that. I'm not. I'm kidding. Love my love wife. your wife. How dare you? Yeah, Matt pressure know. washes the house. Matt's wife does all the wife duties. That's how that works. Yeah, I've been grilling a lot lately too. I've grilled some wings up, and I was very excited about that. Turned out pretty pretty good. Hell yeah. Oh my dumbass! Because we got the uh, buffalo wild wing sauce, like the uh, mango habanero is what I like. My wife likes like the par garlic parmesan shit. Well, my dumbass is I have this thing where I when I open a new bottle of some like ketchup or whatever mustard, I lick it. Right? It's just like a habit I do. But with the mango habanero, I opened it, I was like, loop! And I'm like, holy shit! That was just pure sauce in the mouth, and it was fucking hot as hell. Like, ooh, boy! So, anyways. On to official altar business. Uh, what, what, what I want to get into is this ghost gun stuff. A little bit. Oh, and boy. Then, and, and then go off the tangents, of what, as we usually do. Oh, this is, this is a Ben have. exclusive episode. Let him right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So Stay tuned, listeners and watchers. It's my time now. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> best time. What's well, uh, what funny? I was going to make a joke like, well, we're going to branch out our network, and Ben came up with that idea for his own first show, uh, The Jewish Altar, right? 
And mm. what he wanted to do was the Ghost Gun episode. And I took it for our own. I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? That's fine. Yeah, Actually, I was gonna I was gonna call my show the Yehud. <laughs> but that's that's TBD at the moment, so <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe we gotta get that going. No, dude, look at Ghost Gun shit. It's so it's so funny to me to see the conservatives going like, well, first they'll come for your guns, and then they'll come for whatever. And then you're like, we need to stop everything. And then the left's going like, well, you need to get these ghost guns out of here, right? And it's like, okay, well, first of all, let's let's rag on the right because it's it's actually very easy to do as much as the left. Is mm-hmm. where the, where were they when fucking Trump did the bump stop ban? Like, well, it's not even a gun. It's not even a fucking gun. Who cares? <laughs> It's like I was literally <laughs> it was it was literally everybody fell right into lockstep with what the fucking NRA was saying at the time was oh it's only bump stocks it's a small concession on a longer road to victory blah, 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 blah. As they, and as like a couple years later yeah as they filed for bankruptcy because they're fucking incompetent but now it's like the bump stock thing like that was actually at least for now is put on hold by a court so like no thanks to the NRA. I don't even really think they had a oh, hand wait in this. A I want to say pause it real quick. The bump What's stock up? ban isn't actually in effect yet. Yeah, so I it was in effect. Now it is back to being in some weird sort of state because there was a court order or some court decision that basically said it was unconstitutional. And it had more to do with like less with bump stock specifically and more to do with the ATF just like making new policies for themselves that essentially act as like new legislation and new laws almost because if they invent a new policy where they're basically like, all right, yeah, we we've decided bump stocks are a class three device, which is not necessarily the ruling they came to, but it's something they could do with anything else. Like they're like, all right, um, muzzle devices are now a class three device. So if you have one, that's, you need to register and you need to do all this. And everybody was just like, hold the fuck up. There's a process for this. It's a legislative process. It's not just something you as an executive agency can do by yourself, which I think is how that particular court case went, which is good because the ATF for years has just been able to change its own rules and enforce them selectively as they so choose. And there's no legislation. Congress doesn't do anything. Like you can make the argument sometimes that it's oh they're an executive they're an executive agency they they're overseen by the executive branch which is headed by the president so if the president tells them to do something they have to do it and it's kind of yes but the president can't suddenly again like if Biden were to come out with an executive order that says all magazines must be capped at ten rounds and the ATF was like well the executive said so no we have to do that like. That'd be a whole other fucking issue, but like, suffice to say, they can't just do that just because the president says. It goes back to, there's a process, you have to pass legislation, because the Constitution, which is gay and doesn't work in this situation, says this has to work this way. Even though there's tons of loopholes, you have to do this first, just for appearance's sake. And thankfully, as of yet, they have been too stupid to figure out how to just do whatever it is they want without having to, like, go through that route. Because, <laughs> thankfully, it's not as easy. What did this court thing happen? So this was... Oh, God. I want to say sometime in the past couple of weeks. Maybe, like, a month or two. Thank but you, it was I, Biden. <laughs> for real. Thank but, you for like, it was... It was literally around the time where they first started to hint about this. Like, it was before the, oh, our orders are coming out Thursday, and here's, like, a preview of what we really want to get done. But, but this is... Yeah, I want to say late February, middle March, somewhere okay. around there. So that's why I missed it. I've been missing a lot of news lately. Usually, I just get it from memes. Like I'd be like, I usually get my news from memes anyway, but I haven't been online much to get the news from the memes or the memes if you're a boomer. The memes or memes if you're incompetent. Memes, <laughs> memes. Jeez. Oh, that's good. I'm a bump stock. I don't even have a bump stock anyway. So I'm like, I don't I, like. It's like, I didn't care in that regard. It was just the fact, like, dude, like, naturally, we said it before, you give them an inch, they're going to go for a fucking mile. All the of time. Of course. You, you like, give them the, could... the tip, they take the whole shaft. Yes. Exactly. They just want the whole well, shaft. Well, that's, right more, that's more on my end. It's like, yo, baby, just the tip. And then I'm like, well, we can we can get a little bit more in, you know, just one more inch past the tip. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I'm already all in, so I might as well just keep thrusting. You know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. shit. <laughs> It's only going to be 30 seconds anyways, and half that's cleanup, so we'll give it a 30 seconds, dude, I'm on a fucking marathon, man. God damn, calm down. 
<laughs> just trying to make kids here. I, I got just... shit to do. Ten seconds in and out, dude. You... I I'm I like, like a bull shrimp in my dick. I just thought about my dad's <laughs> philosophy on shit, which is you know pretty based. He's he's a pretty based mm-hmm. guy in, lo- in some regards, even though he's like fucking libertarian. It's like come on down already, you piece of shit. Um, because <laughs> he like I guess my mom some time ago. We'll get back to the ghost gun stuff later. Who gives a shit, right? Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. So my my mom was like upset because like, like my sis like family drama like you're like I don't know seven years ago eight years ago or something like that where one of the kids stopped talking to her and she was like I just like why don't my kids love me and all that blah blah, blah. it was like a bunch of bullshit but my dad was like who who cares I'm like I get it but who cares right like you're like what we're doing in life is just procreating right give them life if they love us back that's cool if not that's cool too it's their own thing you know absolute freedom well she my mom was like you're a fucking psycho like you're a sociopath like why don't you want your kids to love you he's like that's not what i'm saying he's like i'm not like you know the classic like so you're saying you're or what you're saying is you're a lobster so what you're saying is you fucking hate kids no just yeah. hold on <laughs> he's like you can't he's like you can't make your kids love you right it's like but you know if they love you that's cool but you can't make make them love you and if they don't love you like and you can't talk to them about it you know, is what it is. And she was, like, super upset about that. He's like, that's my thing. He's like, I brought you in the world. I brought you guys in this world. I helped, at least. I planted the seed. And I raised you. Like, all these, like, all you kids have done great uh, with yourselves. And you just, like, from from there on, it's all you. Whatever you want to do is cool with me. So I'm like, hey, that's fucking basic shit. That's probably why I'm so cool. I don't know what happened to the other kids. Because they're not as cool <laughs> as me. I'll tell you that right now. I, like, I, went, I don't know if, if, I think my, I don't know if my sister still listens to this podcast or anything like that but she's gonna she's gonna be calling me like oh hello i'm the best i'm like you're the best female sibling okay i have to say you can only like you can only get so based in red pill while being female like it's yeah it just doesn't there's like a a glass ceiling i should ever come on and talk about uh well she's no longer i don't don't think she i don't think she's continuing to operate her only fans because she has a a job now uh (laughs) wow that's 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 what i should start doing yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, bro. You could like yeah. fund this podcast hardcore. And you start all the fans, all the thirsty uh, gore blobs. <laughs> Welcome I, to I our new studio, everybody. We managed to get this in wow, a month and a half. Hey, so. I'm getting rid of some black <laughs> couches today, dude. The black leather couches. If you just, need them, just like, you. just like a month, like after, like I started this week, and then the next podcast, I'm literally in like a new house, wearing nothing but like Armani, and it's like, <laughs> hey guys, like really well put together. Hey guys, you're in like a big ass living there. room in this like huge fireplace in the background. You see like an, like thirteen unregistered you. machine guns and like a stolen painting from like the Louvre. Like, hey guys, why would you tell people that they're unregistered? Just there's machine Don't guns. Don't tell people that. Yeah. Just well, and that, that's it's a that segue, stolen painting. That's when I segue back into the ghost guns and shit. Because that's be based. So first of all, with the ghost gun stuff, it's like, how many fucking violent mass shootings? Has a ghost gun been used? One? Maybe? Maybe. Arguably. It's like, yeah. it goes back to the whole Vegas thing where they're like, oh, Vegas, oh, that's why we got a bump stocks and all this shit. And I was like, listen, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Vegas had nothing to do with bump stocks. The amount of ammunition used and the rate of fire, way too fucking high for a single firearm with one bump stock device. It's also the rate of fire was way too consistent for a bump stock device. Now, if anybody who's curious who does not know what a bump stock device does, basically it is a device you put on your firearm that acts as the same thing as putting your thumb through your belt loop or using a shoelace. It's for bump firing. It's wildly, 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 wildly inconsistent. It is all recoil driven. Specifically, it is a recoil driven based on the angle that your finger is currently pressing the trigger which is different for every firearm. It is different for every shooter. The same shooter will not be able to maintain the same rate of bump fire over the course of several minutes. It's just not going to happen. Shooter fatigue is going to come in. Let's say it really was a bump stock. You're going to notice after like a couple of minutes, shooter fatigue is going to come in. You're going to see inconsistent rates of fire. You're going to see all this shit. Whereas in Vegas, of course, we have this whole other thing where it's a consistent rate of fire for several fucking minutes, a high fucking rate of fire. You have all of this shit going on with Pollard, and I'm, I don't want to even get, get get too deep into that because that's going to take us away from ghost guns. What's or Vegas? bump stocks in general. 
What happened in Vegas? Vegas? Kidding. Could you imagine? I didn't know that. <laughs> Could you imagine? So Fallout New Vegas is this video game, and it's really cool. There's like a nuclear apocalypse, and then you go, and there are these big like dragonflies, and they try to kill you. But then you and there's punch guys them who in the LARP face. as Italians. And there are guys who Cultural LARP as Italians, and they eat people. And there's one dude with a checkered suit who's super fucking gay. But <laughs> yeah, if but, you're a girl, you you, uh, you can fuck. Okay, so the bump stock thing. Let's just talk specifically about that. We're not really going to go into Vegas too much. With bump stocks specifically, okay, so you ban bump stocks. The function bump stocks are trying to replicate, you can again do with your belt loop. You can do it with a shoelace. Dowel There's rod. all sorts. Dowel rod. There's a, literally a trigger these days, and I'm not going to give the name of the trigger because I don't want this company to get jammed up by the ATF. But it's basically, it's a, excuse me, it's like a reaction trigger. That It's like a bump fire trigger. But it's cool. I've used it. It's basically the same thing as a bump stock, but it's not a bump stock, so it's legal. Isn't that but, the one where it shoots when you release as well? No, that's that's a binary trigger. That's okay. different. So that's like you go click once and trigger. it's just once. Yes, bisexual trigger. You would love to see them run. And then you release it, and then it fires another shot. This one is different, where if you hold the trigger down, not all the way, but just a little bit so that the recoil of the gun starts to act against it, it'll just it'll just keep going. It'll just keep firing. It's like a half it's literally we'll I don't know how to describe it. Exactly, right? I actually I do have access to a few that I could maybe Or film. or just get a really good pussy pussy finger and trigger finger and you know, uh, same difference. Oh pussy I'll trigger finger, fuck that. That's my Xbox three sixty years and pussy? of war trigger what are you finger gay? right there. Just, uh. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> you put your fingers in that shit, man. Babies come out of there. Fuck. Yeah, babies come out of it, dude. It's like, why'd you put your fingers in there? You what are you guys babies even talking and blood. about? I did joke. It's like the dudes are like, I don't do anything with my wife. Just fuck her and help me <laughs> like, get mine. Like, I, don't even, I don't even know what my wife's pussy looks like. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Back up. <laughs> it's like fucking Goku. Like, he's got like three or four kids and he doesn't know how to kiss women. It's like, what? What are you doing? It's kind of, well, you know, kissing women is gay. Of course, yeah. right. Because yeah, sure. guys put their dicks in there. Right. Mm. Yep, yep. True, 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 true. I want to put a dick so, in your uh, homie before. So we got the, we got the bump you, stock. Okay. We got the bump stock stuff. <laughs> back back to bump stocks. Bumps, bump, back, <laughs> to the ghost, the back to the ghost guns. Yeah, so like they're not used in like anything, right? Like I know these mass shootings people are concerned about. And most, gu- like, well, like, you know, like a lot of the mass shooting stuff is like gang violence anyway. Exactly. Look at, like, it's the mass It's very... Yeah, Han- like right. stolen you... handguns or black market. Stolen guns. handguns, very small caliber firearms usually too. So it's not even like rifle rounds. It's like literally 22, 25, 32, 380, and 9. Those five right there have probably killed more people in the past month than like AR-15s have in a crime. What's the statistic the on... Because um, I think... "Quote unquote assault rifles, which aren't assault rifles, and whoever calls them assault rifles is dumb as shit. Um, it's they're used in maybe one percent of all mass shootings, right? Death by hammers, death by rifles. More people are killed. We're not. In we're not doing that with a hammer. We're not doing that. I'm not doing it. All right, fine, whatever. Because <laughs> as the as the great Marcel, friend of the show, has said before, right? Like, <sighs> peace yep. be upon him. Yeah, peace be upon him. <laughs> Shalom." God, fuck it. No, so uh, no, because you're comparing like a hammer, the hammer's tool, like mm-hmm. it's there's a specific purpose for the hammer, right? It's to drive nails, right? True. So you're comparing something that's supposed to drive nails, like the and deaths by hammer, like and people use it for mm-hmm. unintended purposes. But the AR-15, for example, is designed to kill something. It's designed to kill. So to use that, someone chose to use a hammer that was intended for nails to kill someone against a rifle that was intended to kill people to kill people. It's a bad comparison and I don't want to do it. True. So it's also shitty advertising. Cause the hammer has a way like more effective kill count. It's like, dude, you're yeah, going right. to shoot him with a rifle. You fucking faggot. Just beat him yeah, with a hammer. Get up close and bro. Shit. Right. So well, it's uh, like the, uh, that Jimmy Hoffa quote where he's like, if, if a guy's trying to stab you, you run. If a guy's trying to shoot you, just charge him. Just fuck it. He's got what? How many bolts? Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. that. They're really how'd, how'd that sense, work out but... for Mr. Hoffa? Let's pretty well, Mr. Hoffa. Let's be honest, it worked he's pretty in well for a very long time. He's in Belize. He's oh, he's in, cool. that's right. He's in Belize, right? No, he he is as reported by a uh, mob guy. He's somewhere wet, and you're not gonna find him. 
So, oh, so he's drowning in pussy. Good for him, King. Drowning in pussy in Belize. Good for him. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Ace of shit. But I also I also say like, listen, he, he's King probably Stem, dead by now, right? How old was he when he went missing? He he would be dead by now for sure if he wasn't already. <laughs> if he wasn't already like yeah. literally got concrete shoes in the middle of, like foot time anchor where was some fucking like lake or river or ocean they dumped his body at, which you'll never find. It's probably yeah. not even that. Like it's not even a lake. It's like. It's like a drainage ditch somewhere that was. Oh, like I mean, by now he's totally decomposed. There might be like some oh, skeleton yeah. remnants, but well, you wouldn't even. When maybe. climate in twelve years, when climate change has ravaged the planet and all the oceans are dry, <laughs> that's where we're gonna find Hoffa. Okay. Some fucking tumbler witch is gonna dig up his fucking skeleton accidentally. Is gonna use his bones in a fucking like gay sacrifice. You know what? And, and, and then she actually starts becoming a union rep for the Teamsters. <laughs> she, just, ah! she goes up with like a pimp stripe pimp striped suit and like her fucking hair slicked back. It's like Becky, what happened to you? Hey, forget about it. All right, listen, we need to talk about the fucking conditions in this Victoria's Secret. All right, that's hilarious. <laughs> could you could you imagine if a, a, a Tumblr witch already found the bones but didn't know it was oh, Hoffa's and used them already? Like, so now <laughs> all evidence is actually gone because made it into some witch too. <laughs> To try to get a That's man great. and it failed, like the spell was wrong. Jimmy Hoffa's like... just just roaming around like union places right now. His ghost cannot find his own body. No, What's he's he's one of those he's one of those old Italian men who just stand next to construction sites and just offers unsolicited advice. You guys should really like that that doesn't look plum to me. You guys should do yeah, something right? about that. It's not level. <laughs> So, anyways, back to the ghost guns. Now we're trying no, to back to fucking back. ghost guns. We're back to fucking ghost guns. No, so like people like freak like freaking out and like and that's why I was wanted to rag on the fucking right I was talking about. Is it like, oh yeah, come for guns? Like, dude, just what's stopping you from making a gun, right? 3D printer, right? If you got a mill, like I might have a mill I could do some stuff with if I wanted to. You it's don't like, even need a mill. Yeah, you just need a fuck you could you could use a regular uh screwdriver drill, like a hand drill to get it done. I'm gonna be real with, with you kids. with like some fucking some hot glue, a piece of wood. Um, one of those metal pipes you use for like fencing or plumbing or something like that with a cap and this a single nail of MacGyver. <laughs> ben literally, Heisenberg. literally, you can do this though. They're called zip guns. Piece of wood or, is the stock. You know what? Tube on top. Nail days. spring. Bop. Literally, yeah. Piece of PVC nice, pipe. Nice. Like, listen, I'm not telling you that based on something I saw in Minecraft that you can put a shotgun shell in a PVC pipe. Put a nail in the ground and put the PVC PVC pipe on that. So when somebody steps on it, it blows their foot off in Minecraft. I'm not telling you you can do that. I'm not saying you can get all the materials. Yeah, you watch that in the like, latest Rambo movie. That's what happened. Of course, yeah, exactly, yeah. And for thirty dollars, you can get enough of those to basically replace every sprinkler at your golf course. But I'm not telling you to do. Yeah, that it was like thirty Minecraft bucks in the Rambo all. movie. I'm not saying you like go, 30 bucks. go on Thirty Fourth Street right now and talk to a guy named Jives who may also or may not have something from the Iron Pipeline. He will offer you a revolver heavily used for $80 with duct tape. Don't take it. It's in Don't take it. alleged murders. Allegedly. What? I wouldn't know. You may have seen that revolver in a movie with Al Pacino. <laughs> Might have seen it. It was stuffed into a toilet tank. How much? Oh, uh, how, many, how many sales do you think of like pol polymer 80s are going on right now? Probably Scott. Probably, probably, but you'd have no idea because they're all bought for cash. The other thing, too, with the ghost guns and like, oh, we need to do something more about like 80% lower is it's like, all right, so right now you can make the argument that, eight, that, that they could make the argument that an 80% kit, let's say you have an 80% lower, it's already done. Well, it's too much like a firearm, so it needs to have its own serial and all this stuff. Okay. Hey, this is 75% lower. It's got 5% less manufacturing than the other one so it doesn't qualify well it's close so now i have to include 75 so, okay well this is a 70 percent lower and it does not it have 75 73.2 and you just 73.2 percent and you can keep doing that and the other thing too is like they're like well what if we start serializing the kits people use and it's like all right they'll just make more kits without cereals or anything like that like you're talking you're about, like oh, well, you parts, take... so you just buy, and then you make it to your own kit. <laughs> Literally, and it's like, oh, what if we start th serializing the three D printers? They're just gonna print three D printers with no serial numbers. Like it's it's you can not, print you a three D printer, you fucking douchebag. You can download a three D printer and print the three D printer, and then download more gun schematics and print more. You guns can three D print a car continues. now. That's a thing that happened. Yeah, already. yeah. 
And it's like, oh, it doesn't last that long. It's like, listen, if you're talking about mass shootings, it's only got to work for like 200 rounds. That's it. Like, if that's your actual concern, also, follow also, your logic. Also, the 3D printer is not going out and doing this. That is no, that they're not. They're, they, they, have, oh, they, they have their own issues, bro. They're just possibly... Yeah, their issue autistic. is they live in, like, fucking California or New York or England or France because there's plenty of people out there doing it, too. They just don't talk about it as much. But they're out there. They're fucking out there. I, I, won't, I won't bring up the information of New York. I already, I already joke about the Iron Pipeline right now. The Iron Pipeline. Well, we don't talk about the Iron Pipeline on uh, on TV, Imra. We don't we don't discuss that. This isn't TV, though. We don't get ads. This this is true. So I'm just gonna put my shit out there. Is I don't think any of this gun the shit. Like I mean, because he, he did the executive orders, which like what mean they mean nothing. They yeah, don't. Like, what do, it's, what do you do? It's like, Sixty days, we might issue a ninety days. I'm gonna dip my toe in the water and see if I can stick the whole foot in. Like that's what they're doing right now. Here, here's it's a PR the, stunt. Fu- the funniest thing to me about the whole thing was Biden's like, I'm going to ask Congress with this executive order. He specifically like the wording is important, right? That he fucking said he's gonna ask. He's asking Congress to do look into this and do something, right? With the executive because, order, exactly because he they knows. Know it's just it's a it's what like you said it's just it's just a play they're just doing whatever it's just a show because they're not they don't want to do anything because dude imagine if they if they they actually passed all this shit and mm. then gun crime like you know gun deaths and violence went, went up right like well we didn't do it like mm. well we didn't well at that point they were like well we didn't go far enough like well, how exactly. well you just did you got everything you wanted so do you not know what you're shooting for like, like no pun shooting intended what you're shooting for yeah well, do you not like? Do you, I thought this was going to solve everything? Because all these exactly. fucking morons, like all the propaganda and shit, is that like, oh, well, we need to address these issues unrelated to any of these shootings that just happened, right? Like, mm-hmm. well, what, what's what's a joke? It's like, t- okay, tell me what you want, uh, what you want in the books on uh, as a law. Like, well, I want mm-hmm. this. Well, it's already a law. Already a law. Yeah, already, already a law. law. Already a law. Already a law. Already law. Everything <laughs> they're proposing is to address a problem. That doesn't exist. Like, Ghost Guns, for example, does not exist. Like, in the background checks, like, the boyfriend loophole shit or whatever, like, okay. Oh, the gun show shit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a gun show, like, private seller or whatever. Uh, oh, okay, so, you know? no, real quick, I'm going to cover that. So, you actually said boyfriend loophole. So, there is actually a concern, like, if, let's say, you're Yimra. Let's say you're dating a guy who has a felony. Okay. And he wants you to buy him a firearm because he knows he has a felony and you know he has a felony. But you're like, well, I don't have a felony, so I can buy the gun and I can transfer it to him. Even in a state where that's legal, where you can privately transfer a party in Utah. So let's say you and your boyfriend move out to Utah. You're both over the age of 18. So even in Utah, for example, you can be privately transferred a handgun at 18. That's totally legal. Like if your dad's like, this was my revolver, it was given to me by my grandfather, and I'm going to give it to you on your 18th birthday. Totally legal. You can get a provisional carry permit that allows you to carry it in certain places, not like a normal per- permit, but like Utah shit aside. So let's say you go and you try to buy a gun for him because he's got a felony or whatever. Everyone's like, oh, it's a loophole. It was like, no, it's it's already a crime. It's called a straw purchase. Mm-hmm. Like if you knowingly buy something like gun and you're like, yeah, this it, the very first question, like box 22A, I think that's on the 4473 when it says yes or no, it goes, are you buying this gun and is this gun for you? Yes, and then it explains what a straw purchase is, what qualifies as a straw purchase. So if you're like, yes, this gun's for me, and I'm buying it. And then you go, actually, it's for my felony boyfriend, and guess what? That's already a fucking crime. It's other thing, too, with, like, like private transfers, for example. They're like, oh, at a gun show, or you can privately sell something, it's a loophole. If you transfer a firearm to somebody who has a felony, you just committed a crime. Like, if you don't know, technically, that's not an excuse. Like, I could, right now, take one of my bolt-action rifles and sell it to some dude in a Walmart parking lot. That dude in the Walmart parking lot could have, ostensibly, have a felony. I would have no way of knowing. Technically, I just sold a firearm to a felon. Now, I know he's not going to be a felon because he has a concealed firearms permit and blah, blah, blah. I have my own method of checking. But they always talk about that, too. And, like, I think my favorite example is people will go husband and wives, specifically, will buy firearms for each other. Like, let's say the husband has, like, felony DWI from the 80s and it hasn't gone anywhere and he can't get it ROR or whatever and like the wife is like oh I'll just buy him a gun for his birthday and it's like all this shit if you like let's say a husband has a felony and a wife tries to buy a firearm 
especially if they have the same last name, the wife will get denied the background check. So it's actually not that easy. A lot of people think all these loopholes actually exist and they legitimately do not exist. Like they, there are ways, again, private transfers are a thing. They're perfectly fine. They're perfectly legal. But like we were standing before with already a law, already a law, already a law, Utah specifically, and most other states that do this, have laws in place. They have to be a resident of the state. They cannot have a felony. And the third most important thing is, like, you have to know that there is absolutely no reason why they should not receive this firearm. If they have a felony, if they have a history of domestic abuse, if they have mental history that you know about, like, if they locked themselves in a room five years ago and threw shit at the walls and would not come out until people started calling him Napoleon the second. Like that's exactly based <laughs> and red pilled. But if he goes, I am Napoleon the third and takes the gun you sold him and then goes shoots up, I don't know, a fucking Walmart. Like, Hey, did you sell him that gun? Yeah. Did you know he had a mental history? Yeah. Well, guess what? So these things are already in place. These laws are already there. The problem is that everything they are doing is not actually designed to like, preemptively do anything it's so that later on after something happens they can go oh we did this or well, the other thing they will do is they'll make these crimes where like all right we can't actually tell you have it but bump stocks for example the idea behind bump stocks is like oh we know nobody's is really going to turn these in but let's say five years from now you get pulled over for doing 15 over the limit and they look in your car and they notice you have a rifle and they're like oh you have a bump stock on this rifle well guess what now you have like felonious speeding and you have like oh you have a bump stock on a rifle then they can bring these charges in and jam you up so like it's like the same thing they do all the time with like other felony shit like let's say somebody gets busted for trafficking drugs which is not a crime it's based in red pill oh. um somebody gets busted for trafficking drugs and it's like oh they only have like well uh we could say it's like intent to distribute but they're just under the limit so they have like half an ounce oh wait Oh, look at this. It's an 80% lower and we just passed that law. You know what that means. And now they can bring you up on federal gun charges and they can put that individual away, which like, if you look at also red flag laws and shit, that's kind of the idea. If you go for mass confiscation all at once, and I'm sure this is something else, all those fucking 3% LARPing faggots have said in their fucking little channels all the fucking time, they can't just do the confiscation. They did a military exercise and blue versus green and blah, blah. I, I, fuck that shit. What they're going to do is very little. Your buddy from 10 years ago is going to lose his gun. And then your buddy over here, you over here, for all of these little inconsequential things, a red flag law here, oh, your friend was smoking marijuana and only, only criminals. You got caught with that. You have a bolt action rifle. That's what you do. It's your fault. Oh, thin blue line. It's just like, listen, again, you're right. The cops are not going to enforce mass gun confiscation. They're just going to come to your fucking house one night after your ex-wife lies and said that you made threats to her even though you fucking didn't. They're going to come and they're going to take your shit and you're going to be like, guys, we were drinking at the bar like every weekend. Like, what the fuck? And then they're going to shoot you twice in the head and go, oh, whoops, sorry, I thought it was a taser. And that's that. That's it for you. And then your buddies will be like, oh, we're going to resist gun confiscation. And the cycle continues. Like... It's, it's, it is a problem that these little things, they keep passing, do these little, like, little things like that, and I keep going, like, I keep, I keep like, slipping into little fucking tangents, it's like word salad, I'm like, uh, doesn't hey, make I'm, any I'm, sense. Yo, take over the show, you're the, you're the main host now. It's oh cool. my god, I'm the main host now, we're talking about guns, and all of a sudden it's fucking Ben show, with my yeah, fucking ben headhunter show. shirt, right? Welcome to Ben's new show, with co-hosts, Matt and Yimra. No, Matt and cool. Yimra. I'm glad yeah. we're talking about something you're passionate about. Word. <laughs> Bash it off and you're a little more knowledgeable than me. Uh, Next word. topic, pussy. All right. Pussy. Like, all right. Then, then, then. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's, go. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, so, fucking, oh, wait, so did you look. guys know Latina pussy is actually warmer than your average white pussy? I feel like oh, this no. is just cap all the way. <laughs> is this what? Cap. What does that mean? He's lying. Hmm. You, you never heard someone say like no cap, no cap. I, I, dude, I live in the South with a bunch of white people. You think I okay. heard these terms? I All don't right, know what dri- no one's using drip around here that I know of. Well, I don't talk to anybody anyway. <laughs> drip, like, son. No the drip. only, the only drip the out here is drip from your gutters. You ain't clean, boy. 
I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let everyone in on a little little secret. Actually, not like not like a big secret to you guys. At least Ben Ben knows. It's like why I'm why I'm so hilarious, and why I'm so leveled out is because I spent like years in isolation out here. Like I didn't do shit. Like I just went to work, went home. I didn't fucking talk to anybody, and I just honed my craft talking to myself. That's why I have like 15 personalities and shit. I'm trying to even think because um. When the fuck did I move out here? It was like 2008. So I moved out here. So it's been a while. But I was out here for like six, at least six years by myself. Right? So like, and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm not fucking like, I, like middle of nowhere. There's like no bar. Like the closest bar was like 40 minutes away. So like, I would just drink at the house and be like online, whatever bullshit. So it's like, that's why I'm so hilarious is because I just talked to myself for six years straight. It's great. The only interactions I had with freight truck drivers. Remember, oh, no, I try to hit up. I'm, that's kind of a lie. I remember trying to get... Uh, oh, I did have some people party with me here and there randomly, sporadically. Like, I'd be, at, I'd go to Subway every day, because, like, why would I make food in the beginning? Party at Subway! No, I'd go to Subway, and I'm like, I'd hit up the girls working there. I'm like, hey, shit, like, what are you doing later? And they actually came over. They actually came over and partied. I was like, damn, I must have some sort of game. I almost had some, like... Uh, engaged chick bang me, but like at the last second, she like she was like, no, I can't do this, I can't do this. To husband. I'm like, oh my, that's fine. Ooh, he's Puerto Rican, he's exotic. Ooh, yeah, looks exotic. Literally, literally she, she, yeah, Catholic she was like, I can't yellow. be. She's like, I can't be having sex. No, it's a Mexican Puerto Rican guy. All right, I'm getting married next week. I'm like, god damn, that's good for you. Next oh, dude. week, dude. Like that 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 time was funny because I had I had these two I had these two girls over they were drinking, but I was underage at the time, so I couldn't buy beer. But I had a creepy buddy who was old enough to buy beer. He was, uh, I think he was in his 30s at the time. Right? And he, like, he was having, he was having mad marital issues, like, of, of his own. Like, 100% him. Like, I can't even blame his wife for anything. He was just fucking crazy. So he, like, he came over with beer before these girls came over. And then he was like, oh, so what are you, like, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, nothing, man. Just, you know, gonna drink some beers. Maybe go out, you know, go on to stick them. And talk to people. You guys remember Stick'em? That video no, on the no. website? Oh, that's that's where I would spend my time. It was a uh, video uh, website where like you'd have like eight people or ten people could be on video in the chat rooms or whatever and everyone would be like chatting up in there. That's that's what I was doing. Super loser shit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna do that tonight. He's like, oh, like, so we're just gonna hang out? I'm like, yeah, I guess you can hang out for a little bit if you want to. <laughs> like so, like uh, these girls aren't coming over because I'm like I do not want him here when these girls come over. Sure as shit, he was he was like why are you acting weird? I'm like and I got the like a call from the girls like oh yeah we'll be there, like be there in, like ten or fifteen minutes. I'm like shit. He's like oh you're having girls over tonight? I was like yeah. Guess he's like, why didn't you call me? I'm like oh I'm like, yeah. like dude you had to go. I'm like you got a wife and kids going home. I didn't want to, like think you're missing out on anything, right? I'm like you should probably go. He's like no man I'll hang around for a beer or two. I'm like oh god damn it. So right. this is like eleven o'clock. This is like eleven o'clock at night. And he didn't fucking leave until four in the fucking morning when they were going to sleep. He creep like he's like being fucking creep all the time, like trying to like score with like one of these two chicks. Uh, and he and like when he's finally going, like the one th- I went, I'm like, here's the spare room for the girls, whatever. I'm like, just like you go in there. There's beds, beds, bed sheets and shit. Go to sleep. And then I'm in my room waiting for like because my room is right by the door to leave, get out of the fucking mm-hmm. house. And his ass. I heard him fucking smooch the girl. Like, just give him a kiss, like, on the cheek or something, right? He's walking out. He's like, yeah, I just gave the girls a kiss goodnight on the cheek or whatever. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. So he left. And I'm like, are you girls okay? And like, yeah, it's fine. It's just like he's gave it, like, he just smooches on the cheek, whatever. I was like, yeah, I'm it's so fine. Sorry. Yeah, like, yeah, it's it could have been worse, I guess. I was like, Jesus Christ. That's like, I'm- whenever you talk to, like, a single girl or, like, a group of girls, and like, yeah, it's fine, that's girl for, yeah, it was almost really not fine, but now it's yeah, okay. I know that's it was, what that I means. <laughs> no, it wasn't fine. No, so his, his fucking, uh, his fucking his wife, because it was Joey, right? Like, that's his name. So he... Oh, it's like Joey Wheeler. Yeah, you so he... fucking Joey Wheeler he, over. He fucking... Oh, didn't t- he didn't tell me anything, right? This is very important, because the next day, his wife texted me, like, hey, who'd you have over last night? Who all did you have over? And I was like, oh yeah, I had like you know Amanda and uh, Tanya. I think those were the names. I had them over, or whatever. Yeah, Tanya. Tanya was the one I was, that was uh, engaged and uh, almost almost went for it, but she was like Puerto Rican. Nah, I can't do it. 
So I'm like, yeah, I had that had that over with Mexican. Yeah, Mexican. So like, I was like, oh yeah, them two. And she was like, well, Joey told me that it was just you and him drinking that night. I'm like, God damn it. I was you motherfucker. Fucking Joey. Fucking Joey. So then I text Joey. I'm like, dude, if you're going to lie to your fucking wife, at least give me a heads up about it. I'm like, because she didn't text me. Like, she didn't text me in the morning. It was like the afternoon. I'm like, you had all fucking day to text me your bullshit. So I could just ignore the text and be like, oh, shit, I didn't get it. Whatever, I, I think I had a flip phone at the time. Right? Oh, like, I it was like, oh, yeah, maybe the signal is shit. My house is spotty. Whatever. No, he's like, no, dude, it's, it's fine. Whatever, whatnot. But dude, he had, dude, like, this guy was fucking nuts. Like, he, like, he, uh, the gun control laws these people think work do not work. Because this man should not have had a gun. And he had several. He went out one night, like, they had a cast, uh, no, it was still in their house. I'm sorry. They had a cast iron tub still in their, in their house, like, working before he decided to get pissed off because he thought his wife was cheating on him, he took the fucking gun out, the 9 mil, and shot the fucking tub in the house with the kids. And shit. Like, yeah. he lost his fucking... Like, and, she, and that was nice. She was like, get the fuck out. Like, she finally... Like, that was like the last straw for her. Because yeah. there was one night he went out into the woods with the gun and fired off a couple rounds because he was pissed. And, uh... My... Oh! Depending on how... Mm. Dude, that's like... He had some serious fucking issues. Like, I mean, like, granted, like, whatever domestic whatever bullshit, like, he was the one, if anything, shot out of the gu a gun because of, like, the drinking problem, right? That Ooh. you can lie on if you have a drinking problem. You're not supposed to be carrying guns, uh, True, which I don't know yeah. anything about a drinking problem. I know. That's it's crazy, right? So, I have a drinking it, solution. I have a drinking solution. <laughs> what percentage is that? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> No, but what, what else? Uh, there was something other crazy, like shit. Like my sister used to live out here too, and like they were they were at their house, uh, at Joey's house with his wife, and they were like had like puppies, right? They were trying to sell off, and my sister had the oh, puppy no. like on her tit, right? Like I said, like on her chest and shit. But it was like right by her, or right above her boob, tit, whatever you want to call it. And Joey's like, "Wow, I wish I was that dog." And then and Vanessa was like, "What did you just say?" And he was like. Oh no, because look, the dog looks like comfortable. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? There is something seriously wrong with you. So eventually, like, they get the divorce. They get the divorce and shit. And he like he moved like to Tennessee. But before he moved, he tried to come over uninvited to talk about it. I'm like, dude, like, I cannot fucking trust you. He's like, you can't trust me. So like, what about you? I'm like, what the what fuck about me, dude? Get, like, get the fuck out of my house. And I had my gun on me just in case shit got, like, because I was like, I don't know what this dude's about to do. If he's, if he's going to shoot a fucking bathtub in his house with his kids sleeping. With his kids home. And that's yeah, his kids. That shit. That's his yeah. kids. Like, me, I'm nothing to this motherfucker. You're just some so guy. Like, You're just some dude. guy. I'm just some Puerto Rican some... guy. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. fuck. So like he and I'm leaving shit. But then his wife later, because I'm still, I still talk with her, uh, what like whatever. <laughs> And, uh, well, let's get to that in a second. <laughs> so he, he was afraid, like he thought Vanessa was cheating on him with me. I'm like, I never, I'm not even over there. I'm like, yeah, I'm usually that's... at my house and you come over, dude. What the fuck? So as like a revenge thing, like a couple of years later, I ended up, you know, sleeping with her. It was like, King. oh, just whatever. Didn't that's give her any that's not a violation of the bro code though, because that's a couple of years buffer. There were yeah. transgressions in the past. You are fine. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good. So what were the you Council of about? Bros. Council we of were bros. talking about what the fuck were we talking about? Oh, guns, I, 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 I like guess. how you, I like, how, I like how you talked about like, yeah, hey, I'm going on tangents right now and shit. I'm like, well, let me give you a bigger tangent. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So not only do you go on a bigger tangent, you can actually like, you don't like start dropping into word salad halfway through it because you've forgotten where you're going with the tangent. So that's always good too. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> where I was going with it, but yeah, dark times for me. Well, you have all that practice talking to yourself, like you said. Like, I, I am yeah. only just getting to that now. So it's like, the, you know, the thing is... Dude, it was like, oh, funny because it was when... Uh, it was, I think, the video that I posted was at Home Depot about the, like, energy-saving lights and Bernie Sanders or something like that. You're like, you're like, I wish I could get to one day where I could just casually shit post like Matt does. I'm like, hey, spend yeah. some years in isolation, and you'll be right there with me. You were not kidding. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> right, that's right stuff. I'm just, I, well, I'm not saying I'm like, I'm fairly mentally sane, but there's some screws loose. But I think there's, there's everything, uh, there's something with everybody. They just get loose as you, you get know? older. Yeah. 
yeah, with more gray hairs than I can see myself. So, yeah, so the, 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 yeah, but just to finish up the gun control stuff, it's like the Democrats are probably not going to do anything because they need a boogeyman. And even if they do pass something, it they're something else is going to happen and they're going to say they didn't go far enough. So the answer is not to vote harder red. And I don't even know if it's to vote harder libertarian at this point. It's just going back to like the local. Make sure your local town yeah, is is very pro gun and pro your Second Amendment rights. Because that was yeah, that was the funny thing. It's like ever ever since he's like no, like Biden was like no amendment is absolute. Okay, like nothing's absolute. Like oh, and the the because he said the fire like you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. I'm like, yeah, you can, if there's a fire motherfucker, but exactly. you can't yell, you can't yell, you can't yell fire. If there's no fire because of the, what's going to happen after that, because a bunch, mm -hmm. of, bunch of people are getting trampled and shit. So you just caused people to die or get injured and stuff because you said some lie. That's obviously that's not freedom of speech because you just caused, you knew your shit was going to cause some sort of destruction, right? But you can absolutely, if there's a fire, especially if you start the fire, you could yell fire and right. there's the fire. So, in a theater. What do you say? No amendments absolute. So people are going after the uh, 16th uh, about taxes and shit. I'm like, yeah, I Basically. wish, but that's not, that's not like, it's Basically. a good joke, but it's, that's not going to happen because they need to fund their war crimes. But um, let's bring slavery back, you know, Fuck yeah. the 13th, we already have right? it. What's good with you, bro? Well, no, like more, like more out in the open. Okay. Cause we like 13th, we have the prison slavery system. Let's just bring it like, you know, but let's make the, uh, not no, the whites. The whites are too good. Uh, not, not the whites. Uh, let's put the Italians to work. Okay. Yeah. I like that. The Italians. Let's put the Italians to work. Uh, we need to get some good bottoms. Uh, just the bottoms. No. Okay. So here's my theory. I think I've have ADHD too. I was talking to this guy Connor, front of the show. Uh, and he's like, he's. I think he's like said he was like 19. You're talking to the Irish on the side and not telling us, you fucker. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> So, like, he's got ADHD. I was talking to him. I'm like, damn, I sounds like I might have ADHD because my mind goes off in, like, a million different places at once. So, uh, and I don't even remember what I was going to talk about. That's what, how great that was. That's, so, yeah, uh, I think. So, yeah, ADHD. Yeah, AD, 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 <laughs> ADHD. Wow. That, that, that thought went way out of my head. So, uh, oh, yeah, no. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Nuclear power. Okay. I'm back. We're here. Nuclear power. Okay, we got it. So my energy solution, I posted this on Tumblr, Tumblr years ago, but the U.S. government isn't listening, okay? And that's why I became an anarchist, because how we can solve the energy crisis, how we solve the energy crisis is, mm -hmm. wait for it, nuclear power bottoms, okay? Are you with me on that? So we have power bottoms running the nuclear plants, and because they're power bottoms, it's like infinite energy, right? Mm -hmm. Yimra, you chime in. Oh, you, you know you're this. doing great. You're doing great right you're now. Great. You, you, you do your thing. Because people, I mean, like, I'm not gay, right? But people talk about power bottoms. Like, it's like the greatest thing ever. I'm like, what if we could use this for renewable energy? Mm. I think AOC can get on board with this. I'm going to send her an email later. But like, hey, listen, what if we had nuclear power, power bottoms? <laughs> And Yimra can run the plant. <laughs> I have, I have like the high vis on and the helmet. I just got a clipboard. I'm kind of just walking around as like, dude, the I can, I can see you. Out. I can see you with the helmet and the headlight on, looking in. Like, okay, this bottom, this bottom is fucking out. Like, he's wide open. He needs to go. Like, we can't use this guy anymore. Yeah, so he's too, recycling. I have like a clipboard. I'm gonna use these as an it's, example. Like, it's like yeah, Snowpiercer. Right, like the the nuclear plant will keep running. You just have to keep switching out bottoms. Something's getting pierced. <laughs> so it's good. Some snow's getting pierced. Yeah, no, this this one's too loose, guys. We're gonna have to get a new one in here. Sorry, kid. Absolutely delusional. And, and then get, you have to get, you have to take them out, like old yeller. Let's get them out. Sew them up. Peel them up. And we'll get them back in here in a couple months. Oh no, we old yeller them. Once once the, there's a certain point of looseness, no return. He was overused, overstimulated. How would you His know prostates... that? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Just, just oh, remember, everybody: Soviet power bottoms do not get loose. That's Doesn't true. Happen. Listen, you know the one another point in the favor of communism of like the three minus the power facial hair is that their bottoms can take pretty much any beating mm -hmm. and still keep going. Just ask the Ukrainians. 
I, I feel it's like this is actually why we're getting. This, this is why someone's going to assassinate us because we, we reference the Ukrainians in, in a way that suggests they're gay. No, someone's it's okay. Gonna... I am Ukrainian, and I know, I know plenty of whole holes, so it's good. They don't mind. Dude, okay. so did you guys see? Did you guys see that video I posted yesterday of my wife saying that topping isn't gay? Yes, he's right. Hilarious. It was hilarious because it was like because she was talking about like oh yeah the dude doesn't have a gag reflex so he can't be gay like it was it was like the funniest thing to me because it a lot of stuff on Tumblr like I realize that's like Tumblr isolated like comments people make and shit so I don't apply, I don't say that shit out in the real world right so to hear my wife saying well if if they don't suck if like a top doesn't suck dick or whatever like they're not gay. Because they're just fucking, like, at that point. I'm like, oh my fucking god. You're right, and it's hilarious. I'm like, let me record this real quick. Let me get my uh, Tumblr fame. It's fucking hilarious. And she, she, went on, like, she went on more about it after I got done recording. Just like, talking about how, like, no, like, you can't be gay. She's like, and just, like, bisex- all bisexuals are tops. So I'm like, wait, wait, back up. Wait a second. I, yeah, I was like, hold up. Yo, hold up. Have, you, have you seen all these fucking... Uh, uh, femboys, they're technically bisexual. Well, I don't she, know like, how much that really She further elaborated, that. she's like, if like a, I don't even know how to say it. I'm like, what if two bisexual dudes got together? I'm like, how are they both tops? Like, does that work? Oh, no, but then she was like, oh no, like they're sw- like, you know, they're sw- like switch or whatever. Versatile. I'm like, okay, there it is. That was the phrase I was waiting for for you to say. Because I'm like, they can't just solely be tops. Because she, she was making it out to be. My wife's bisexual, so she should know better. But she prefers she prefers meat more so. Oh, that was that was the other funny thing. We were at uh we were doing Easter photos. Uh, I went went out when I went out to Illinois. We did Easter photos and shit. And the girl, the photographer, was asking like, "Oh, so how'd you hear about us or whatever?" And I'm like, "Yeah, how'd you hear? Like, how'd you hear about us?" I'm like, "I didn't know." And my wife's like, "Yeah, I saw it on Facebook." Uh, okay, that's cool. Got that message. Bitch. So like I was like I'm like yeah that's co- that's cool and all, uh like like how'd you get how'd you get that uh how'd you how'd you get that on Facebook? She's like oh the my, my college friend like Morgan. I was like in my head I'm like oh you mean the one you were in a more sexual relationship with? Who was the top in that? I'm gonna ask her later. But gonna wrap up <laughs> no here because I need I need to eat something. This beer and a half is really hitting me. So Damn. uh yeah yeah I keep drinking it. So I gotta piss in a sink or something. Yeah, you piss in your mouth, dude. So, all right, we're going to call it. Uh, <laughs> ben, Yimra, have a good one. And uh, everyone else, see you next week. <laughs>